Hey everybody, Zach here, coming at you from Italy, Sicily, from my own, my own place. This is the first time I've actually been able to say this. I'm actually in my own space. I mean, it's an Airbnb that I've got for a month, so I don't, you know, it's an Airbnb, so it's temporary accommodation, but I've got this kind of like place to myself and it's just this what I've been manifesting for years. I'm just really grateful, really appreciative of having this. It's it's just a whole new ball game. I have wanted this for so long and now I'm here and, and really I started wanting to get out of my old living situation a few years ago, maybe about 2016. I was just living at home with my parents and had been and have been for a long time. And my goal since since 2015 actually was to go self-employed and be earning enough money to be able to go and rent my own flat or even my own house in in the UK, in England. Because I was I didn't want to be in like a nine to five job where I was in an office and I had to show up. I, I just wanted to be self-employed and independent, like a freelancer. And so I was like, right, it's okay. I can stay at my parents' house for as long as I need to while I build this business. And it didn't really go like that. I mean, I tried, I was kicking my heels a lot. I was, I was, I had a couple of e-commerce clients for, for years, since like 2016, that, that were all good, but I just didn't, it wasn't really my highest aspiration to be building e-commerce websites for, for, for other people's businesses. And I, went through all of that and came out about a year ago, well, less than a year ago now, within this past year, just realizing with my Saturn return happening as well in this year of 2020, and just realizing, whoa, like, I need to stop putting off this thing that I've been called to do that my heart's been calling me to do for the past five years. And as I started to align more to the idea of me being a coach, a freelance coach, self-employed coach, I then found that my old day job just fell away out of my life and this new video editing work from home job fell into my life which I'm extremely grateful for and that has enabled me to be able to take a leap of faith and take this bold stride forwards by buying this laptop and just jumping to a different country and finding myself in a four week Airbnb stay in a place that I can talk to myself. I can sit down at this sofa and meditate in complete peace and silence with no distractions, no, to have a kitchen space completely to myself. And what's even more beautiful as well is just, just being able to come to a place like South Italy in late October and have a warm sun on my face with this beautiful vineyard place. It's just, it feels so surreal. It's like a different, I went to bed last night just really appreciating everything that is now in my life. 
and how I strived for years, just in a way that perhaps I needed to experience in order to realize what I didn't want, in order to realize what I do want. And so here I am, committing myself continually to service, to helping others. And that's what's really bringing me my excitement. It's what's really bringing me so much joy. It's like when I made a, I made a video a few days ago and when I posted it and I've listened back to it and even when I was making it, it just, my heart space just felt so warm. And it was the same feeling I had a few weeks back where I made a video and I got feedback on it and it helped people. And that happiness I felt, this happiness that I'm feeling from making these videos, is a happiness that I haven't felt for years. It's a sense of fulfillment, of satisfaction that I can't describe with words. It's my higher self telling me, this is it, this is the key. <laughs> this is what you came here to do, if you wanted to still do this. And I'm realizing every time, the more I do it, the more it reinforces that this is what I really want to be doing because it just feels so good. So, yeah. My intention for while I'm in this place, I chose this place because of the fact that I had, well, A, an entire place to myself that was really important to me. Finding a place to yourself in the UK, you're gonna be spending the, the cheapest place. Like, which also is almost always not the nicest place either. It's gonna be like 700 pounds a month, which I could afford, but it's a lot. Whereas this place, the entire place to myself, 500 pounds a month, great. That's at, at the moment with my current alignment of work, like that's ideal. The other reason, the most important reason for me coming to a place like this, where it's peaceful and it's quiet and I can be completely in my own space, is to do my shadow work without any distractions. Somewhere I can come and, for example, sit down on the sofa and all I can hear is birds chirping outside of the window and the refrigerator humming. I'm not used to that. I'm not used to this and it's magic. It's what I've dreamed of for years. And to have it realized is, wow. So that's really it. That's my reason for being here is to dive into my shadow work for the next 30 days. I may stay here longer than 30 days if it's still available. If it's not, I may move somewhere else and continue my shadow work. But also the third reason of why I'm here is so I can really start fleshing out and establishing my emotional healing coaching business. Like really getting down my one-to-one -one coaching process, my 
my supplementary course that I'll give to my clients so that they're able to take it away and do it themselves whenever they need to and they don't have to come back to me to do it one-on-one -on -one and things like that. I also realize it's important not to get stuck on the creating phase. You want to create to a certain point, but then there comes a time when you just got to jump in because I know what I'm doing. I know what I need to do. It's just kind of like that resistance in the first instance of when you're new to something like one-to-one -one coaching is new to me and offering that to people a part of me is like afraid to get it wrong because I'm a perfectionist which also ties in with my my own traumas of rejection and so I'm I'm afraid to get it wrong I'm like I really want to get it right and I want people to get the best they possibly can from the sessions with me so I'm hearing like oh right I've got to get this right this right this right before I can even start but it's okay because I'm aware of that so I'm not gonna let that happen And so, I'm going to sit here with my, with my, my espresso and, uh, yeah, got a bit of work to do today, got a client call as well. Yeah, take it from there. I can't really describe how much love I'm feeling within myself right now. <sighs> so thank you to God within. Thank you to all that is. Blessings and love to all. Ciao for now.